Yo, what's going on, everybody? Ace McMillian here from the Girl No Talking Council podcast here to discuss the latest anime news. So let's get into it. How are you doing today, McMillian? It's been a it's been a hot little minute since we got to talk. Yeah, it has. I'm doing good. Obviously, I'm not in my usual self. There's a lot more Power Rangers stuff. But, uh, <laughs> this person that I'm saying with is graciously graciously allowing me to use their office. So don't trash their. Uh, stuff publicly. <laughs> Not publicly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll give the anonymous person a thank you for us. Everybody, you know, um, here from the council, say thank you to the anonymous person here that is so graciously allowing our friend McNeely here <laughs> to crash out during his movie. Space, yeah. um, so we are glad. Well, I'm glad that you did make it safely to your new destination. So that's good. I know you still in the process of moving, but you have made it safely to your new destination. So that is great. Yep. Well, since last time I spoke to you, we had, uh, we, you know, we had a few little anime news here going on. Not, 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 not a lot crazy, but we got, we got a few stuff to talk about. So starting us off here, um, recently I, it was supposed to be Premier as well, but dude, his movie couldn't make it. But recently I <laughs> was able to attend the DreamCon convention, which is a anime convention put on by the group R- R- RDC World. If you don't know them, go look them up, go check them out. Mm-hmm. Um, they host their anime convention from July 15th to the 17th. I was so able, so lucky to be able to go. Um, we're gonna make a separate video about, just you know, talk about my time there, amongst other things. But that will be coming in a later video. Um, next mm-hmm. up, and it's been two months of long, long, painstakingly waiting, the Black Clover manga <laughs> is finally coming back in August. I think it has an August release date, I'm not sure, because I know I've seen a meme about somebody um, they posted a shot of I think it's um, you know how it is in, in the, I can't remember the manga uh, website, um, Shonen Jump they posted the screen from Shonen Jump which was mm-hmm. like next chapter arriving and so on and so on so, I don't know why I couldn't think of that at first Got it, got it Okay, I think I might have seen something like August 1st, but this is probably not exactly correct, but regardless if you're reading this manga, then the hype is real. The hype is because, real. Because, ah. Uh, the hype is real. <laughs> I can't go into why, but, yo, I cannot. Yeah, no, we're not going to really go into why, because we, we try our best to avoid spoilers here on the channel. So, um, we try our best to avoid spoilers. If we do talk about spoilers, we will try our best to let you know half the time. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's getting lit. Um, there's also have been rumors, though that they're supposed to be doing a time skip for when the manga does return, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, with Especially with how it think, ended. Like, how, yeah, what, what, was, what would like, change in a, if they do a time skip, you know, how based on how he ended the um, last arc, that, like, that's gonna be wild. Yeah, I don't know how that would go. Like, I could, I guess I, guess I could figure out how it could work, but it'd be interesting. Because to me, that means we're starting off in, with action. Possibly in some based shit. On yeah, basically. How, <laughs> yeah, based on how at la- the, the, the chapter that we left off on ended. But that, oh, that's very interesting if that is true. Yeah, so there's, there's been those, no, there's been rumors going around. No, nothing, of course, confirmed, but it's been, you know, those rumors going around that we might be getting a time skip here. And. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to see if that is the case. Because, like you said, if they he, if he does do a time skip, like this is, I don't know, how are you going to pull that off? What is going on? We, we have exactly. to be in some shit, right? Because right. <laughs> it's just no way. I don't know how we could. There's no way. I do not know how we could. Oh man. But okay, well, moving on from there, our boy McMillian wanted me to mention this to you guys. The new Gundam series, officially now titled "The Witch from Mercury." Um, a trailer just dropped for the anime, so you want to talk about how excited you are for this million? I so if you know anime, you know Child Soldiers. Um, Gundam is like the progenitor of that, and it has had some really good series um, recently. Um, I think most people know Iron Blood Orphans, and if you haven't, please do check it out. It's great. So for us to get another one, and it looks beautiful just from like the poster and the trailer, uh, <laughs> I'm super excited to see uh, where this um, this series, uh, where this season of Gundam goes. Because um, I think I don't know if this is true or not. Because I'm not like the biggest like Gundam fan, but I think this might be like our first uh, main series with a female pilot as the pro- as the 
focus, like focus protagonists. I know there's been others that have been a part of the main cast, but I think this might be the first time we were doing it from exi- like from jump. This is uh, her show, so I'm really interested to see how that goes. That that is interesting. I have no. I was I was a big Gundam fan when I was a child. I played all of the Gundam games, but I have not yet watched one Gundam anime. So it might be time to start putting oh, some of them on my list and get into them eventually. Yeah, you should definitely highly recommend Iron Blood Orphans. That that show hits. Yeah, no, you talk you you talked about that show multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if any if any of them go on the list, I gotta put that one on the list at least first and I'll probably go see if I can find up some maybe you know, some maybe, maybe some of the older ones and check some of them out and see just see how they are. Mm-hmm. See if they aged well, you know. Check some of them out as well. So yeah, I might throw some gun move um, some gun animes on my watch list now. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. So now now moving on to our ever so stacked fall season. Um the My Hero Season 6 finally has an official release date of August the 1st for season 6 to premiere. Um episode 1 was in fact premiered during the My Hero Fest 2022. They had a screening for episode 1 there. So everybody that went they got the view episode 1. Um for me season 6 it, this this is the saving season of My Hero in my opinion. Like they have to come hard with season six. I mean, from what a lot of manga readers have been saying that too. Like this is a really good uh, arc. Um, I hope they do it justice because a lot, of, uh, a lot like last season could have been a lot better because that's why I stopped reading my hero and it was pretty good. So uh, I, I do hope that this one they give the utmost care because it sound from what people are hyping it up to be. It sounds like it's gonna be a wild ride. Yep, that's that's yep, that's what people say. Um, as everybody knows from watching the trailers and stuff, it is official. Season six will be the war arc between the villains and the heroes. Um, you know, I mentioned before, if they're gonna do a war arc, then this has to be done right. Um, if they fail this, I don't. I just I don't know if I can continue with my hero anymore. Like I might just Ooh. I might I might give it the Baruto treatment while I just watch it every couple of months or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Check in on the kids just, just to see how they doing. Make sure they got water and food. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, man. I think, like I said, at least for me, this season six is, is the um, saving season for break. me. Yeah, at least for me, make or break. Like I do enjoy it, yes, but I mean, I don't know, man. My hero has, 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 has its ups and downs for me. At least. Yeah, I know. I feel you on that. I feel you. I agree. All right, and then for all of our Dragon Ball fans, you guys can finally be happy because the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie is finally coming over to the West on August the 6th. We don't have that much to wait, actually. It's within almost... No, no, wait. Less than a week here? I I believe it's August. I think you got a date mixed up. Did I get a date mixed up? Yeah, that uh, Superhero is supposed to be the night, August 19th. August 6th is for your film coming out. Oh, uh, I did get the date mixed up. Thank you, sir. All right, see, that's why two of us is okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is right. August 19th, Super Superhero uh, does come out. If you're online, do be careful because apparently there have been... I don't know if it's leaks because Ace told me these are... They are not official. leaks. It has been okay. official release information about the new forms for both Gohan and Piccolo. I'm not going to talk about them just in case anybody hasn't seen it, but there has been official, you know, promos and stuff dropped by Toei and, and you know, things of that nature. Okay. I just want to make sure because the, vid- the, the pictures I saw, I felt weren't official cause just because they didn't look that good. I mean, but, well, I can... I can show you some of, some of the official stuff in there when we get done recording. But anyways, but yes, they, they have been made official. They've been showing them in all types of promos and trailers. I don't know if they showed them in the trailer, actually. Um, but I know they've been showing them in uh, promos and stuff like that. So it, it's out there. But like I said, I'm not going to talk about it if you haven't seen their new forms yet, by chance. Um, yeah, so but they look, they, I'll, I'll just say they look good from what I saw. Like, from what I could tell, they look interesting. And I'm wondering... The only thing... I'm not watching, I don't like really pay that much attention to Super. Like I know what's going on. I check in on it, kind of how Ace said he does with Boruto. So I'm wondering, will these new forms help Gohan and Piccolo keep up with the whole Super Saiyan God stuff now? Or if it's just kind of like, this is contained within this Well, it's it's been some more stuff that's come out from the creator and about that exact question that you just asked, actually. Oh, really? Yes, that actually stirred up a lot of 
a lot of stuff on social media. People are starting to get into power level discussions and stuff. You already know how that goes. Um, mm-hmm. But <laughs> there has been some information released by the creator about how strong these new forms are are going to be. But I'm definitely not going to get. This is not a Dragon Ball podcast. We're not going to get down into power Man, scale. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Just- that's just anytime someone talks about like, oh, this new form is unlocked, and especially by someone that's not Goku or Vegeta. I just always think like, how long, or like, what are what you know, what is the what is the meaning of that? Like, is it is it something no. that people should be paying attention to or not? Like, you know. <laughs> no, I feel you on that, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But for some more anime news that well, some people call it anime, some people don't call it anime. But um, the Avatar Studios. Well, I don't know if it was announced by Avatar Studios, but there's been more talks and rumors going around that the first movie that's being released by Avatar Studios will be a movie about the adult Avatar game, which is something yeah, that young... people have been asking for for a long time. Yeah, it's supposed to be, uh, if I'm correct, it's supposed to be like their college years. And I do believe it was announced by Avatar Studios because recent, you know, San Diego Comic-Con is going on uh, sure. currently or just past, I think. But I think it was announced there, and it's supposed to be about Aang and the gang and their, uh, like, young adult years. So, like, early college, you know, like, probably, like, college time span. Um, Correct. So, if you're you're an Avatar fan, if you know know, you're in the Avatar, um, not lore, I guess, community, if you will, you know how a lot of people, some people, you know, always talk about how they wish they would have got a series based on, you know, Avatar and the gang when they was a little bit older. And so the Korra series, me, I think Korra was a good series. We're not going to talk shit about Korra. I enjoy Korra. <laughs> so, you know, I think Korra deserves his right saying. to be a series. But a lot of people still prefer, wanted to go the other route. But now, at least maybe this can ease some of their pains because yeah, they did the movie about it. You you do have the, yeah, the uh, animated option because I know the, the comics are there, but a lot of people, you know, they want to watch it still. This will be a good, I think, bridge gap, hopefully. Um, and I'm interested to see because the, the from what it sounds like, this movie is going to be past the comic book stuff. So that's interesting. I, I for me, who has read all of like who has read the uh, comics that focus on Aang all the way to like well, the ending of like the comic book series, at least, I I have something now to look forward to. Of like, oh, I don't know what this could be, you know. Because <laughs> the comics, in, the comics ended concisely before they got to that age, so this will be something okay. interesting. Dope, dope, dope. So yeah, it'd, be, it'd also be cool to see if that, like, whatever they show with the movie, if it's canon or if it's just, you know, just a movie. Because if it's canon, they could do some stuff with, like sure. whatever they, whatever they go through might could potentially lead into like whatever the next Avatar series would be so, something yeah, like that. Be, That'd be cool. Well, I'm pretty sure it's canon because Avatar Studios was created to flesh out the Avatar universe, you know, bring us okay. more stuff from the universe. So I'm pretty sure it's canon. So I, it'll just be real interesting to see. Like you said, could something that happened in this film be implications for the core film when it comes out or, you know, the other series moving forward? Because, you know, Avatar's whole thing is connectivity. So Correct, correct. It'll yep. be interesting to see what it takes. <laughs> All right. Well, for our next slate of news we have here, Netflix is at it again, everybody. Um, I don't know why they keep doing this to us, but they are now working on another live action anime series. And this is going to upset a lot of people because it's a, it's a fan favorite out there. One of the, originals, there. Yeah. <laughs> One of the One originals. Of so Netflix is planning on making a live action Yu Yu Hakusho. Now... Why did they decide to do this? The world may never know. Because they also are doing, if you've been paying attention, they're also making a live action One Piece series. Um, A trailer was actually just came out for that not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yes. I I haven't watched it yet. But if I'm not mistaken, I was looking on YouTube and I seen like a trailer. Unless unless people made some type of fan trailer. But anyways. Um... I, don't, I, don't, I really just don't understand why well, Netflix keeps doing this to us. Because didn't they make a live action be, um, Cowboy Bebop as well? Yes, and that tanked. But I will say this, uh, the live action Yu Yu Hakusho is being done by a Japanese studio as opposed to Death in Note. In American studio. And, yeah, Death, yeah, which was how they did Death Note and uh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah they, but, they, yeah, they did a live action Death Note too. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> But I, I will, so I, I'm not, 
anytime they make anime live actions, I'm very like, ah. <laughs> but there have been some decent Japanese live action adaptations of anime, but most of them haven't been like really like visually uh, CGI heavy, except for the Attack on Titan ones. I haven't watched those. Someone can tell me, I guess, if those are good or not. But uh, the only live action anime movie I've seen that I thought was done well, uh, besides uh, was Live Down Repeat. Cause that was based on a very obscure manga um was this blood sea live action movie and that was done by a japanese studio so maybe this could be good but obviously as an anime fan i am on the side of don't do this shit just don't <laughs> <laughs> not everything like, has to be live action live action at all no i agree especially just like okay like certain i can, I can understand like y'all took like a slice of like you know, yeah like, slice of life so. stuff Slice of Life, romances, they have they do that all the time. I you mean, I uh, did that in live action. Mm-hmm. I, but I, I, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess, for you, Hakusho. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very skeptical on it because that has a lot of uh, effects and act, and action stuff on it, and I don't. Yeah, I just don't want to see I mean, stuff. I know the Yu Yu Hakusho fan base was up in flames. Like, them, yeah. <laughs> them boys was not happy on social media at all um we can only hope you know like you said it, whenever you know your, your series gets a live action anime adaptation announced you can only hope that it's gonna be the first actual decent one that they do mm-hmm. um but <laughs> you know <laughs> the only time will tell yeah, if somebody will finally that. get the formula right yeah um you know, that's why I'm hoping the same thing for the the One Piece live action. You know, because since I'm a One Piece fan, you know, I'm hoping that the live action is going to be at least. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath over here at all. Well, Ace, at least the creator of yours is involved heavily. It seems like. So. Yes, but I, that still doesn't mean anything. I, I don't know. I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch this trailer first. If this trailer is real, I have to watch that. And then maybe I can give a, you know a second thought on how, how I'm feeling about it currently. But I haven't seen the trailer. yet. I have to go check that out. If there is a trailer, I hope they. I hope they wasn't fooling me. <laughs> I'm gonna go look at them right after this. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, here, um, actually, some more One Piece news here. So the official release date of the One Piece film red movie is set to release in Japan on August the sixth. Um, the Western release date is still currently scheduled for um, fall of this year. So still waiting on that. But you know. If you're an anime only, you know, you're not into the manga and stuff like that, please be careful. Get your mute words ready because August 6th is right around the corner and, you know, leaks and spoilers are bound to happen. So just just be careful out there, my One Piece fans, and try not to get spoiled out there. I made a tweet about this earlier that there's a rumor about the movie that they're supposed to be showing a particular thing in the movie i'm not going to talk about it because like i said i don't want to i was unfortunately spoiled on this so i don't want to spoil everybody else but there's a there's a particular thing that is supposed to be showing in the movie and i really hope that is not the case because there will be a lot of pissed off anime only if is they it, get spoiled by this shit in the movie is it a form that hasn't been revealed yet in the anime or like well like I, said, I didn't want to talk about it but yes it oh is. okay I, I mean like I, I thought you just didn't want to say like what it was i didn't know if you if talking around well yeah well i'm not gonna talk yeah i was just trying to talk about it in general but yes there's a certain form that's supposed to be shown in the movie okay. and like i said unfortunately i was spoiled on it in, in the craziest way too this shit came in my gmail <laughs> on some weird <laughs> some oh, weird blog man. like you know those uh those i uh, what's the name of those blogs those this is supposed to cue like the quest Quora. blogs or the course blogs i can't Quora. core I yes thank you it came in a fucking core blog bro like i i don't mm. oh my gosh like out of all the way i thought you were gonna say, like, I, got a, spoiled. I thought you were gonna say like a pinterest email because pinterest be having art so that would that is why I don't know. no because I, because when it when when the, when the stuff first started happening on social media i started hopping on top of you know i started muting stuff blocking people and all that stuff you know i was safe and like my email my my email was my downfall i have yes. never in my life before had an anime spoiler come to my email that's interesting. that it that blew that blew my mind yeah, i was i was pissed that's i was crazy. pissed that is crazy that's almost as crazy as when twitter spoiled the ending of a like twitter itself spoiled the ending of something i cannot remember what it was um that is wild though uh that's i, I was i, I was I pissed 
I don't now. I'm I'm not gonna try and make this into a whole thing, but I do find it interesting when creators or of of like anime movies put in stuff that haven't been shown in the in the show yet. Because they did that with My Hero mm-hmm. as well in like the first My Hero movie or whatever. Um, they showed yeah. not, well, not the first. I think it might have been the second, but they showed uh, Midoriya using his, I think it was the air the, the air girl his, his air yeah. gauntlets before they came out in the anime. And granted, well, that's not like I guess that huge of a spoiler. I was I just thought that was weird because I'm like the people working on this. It's the same studio that works on the show. <laughs> so what? Yeah, you know, I mean, a lot in a, a lot of people. Their defense was that you know this. Unfortunately, you know, most of the movies is going off like movies be going off the manga materials and stuff like that. You know, mm-hmm. since it already happened in the manga, it's technically fair game because, you know, all the you know the manga of course gets released in Japan. Well, we get it, we get the manga here too now finally. But yeah. um, most of most of always the anime movies they first get released in Japan, and you know they since Japan gets everything first, it really, they really don't you know care about the rest of the world when spoiling certain stuff because it's not a spoiler to Japan because they already haven't seen it. Yeah, know? I mean manga mangas get like for instance, I don't think I don't know if they had this problem in Japan, but like in America, people are like, oh, why would I why, why would I read it? I could just wait till it gets animated. Which again, if that is your cup of tea, all power to you. But I think like for them, their so, manga is such an, a big part of their culture, you know. Correct. It's like it's not like comic books here. Like comic books is a big thing here, but everybody doesn't read comics or like books, for instance. That's why like there's so many movies about books and stuff like that. But uh, I, I think for them, it, it's not that big of an issue because like they they read. They'll yes, yeah, they read. They they know what's gonna. No, they won't be surprised. Cut off, but cut off guard by anything. But for us people in the West, like I said, majority of people do prefer. I ain't gonna say prefer, but majority of people like watching mm-hmm. the anime versus reading the mangas. Yeah. And for it, you know, a plethora of animes, you know, it's just not just one. There's just a lot of anime only out there in the world. It's just, you know, it's just an unfortunate fact. Yeah. But um, like I say, if they, because like I plan on, my plan is to go see the movie where it does drop in the list. But I, like I said, I don't want to actually see the new form until it drops in the anime mm-hmm. first because I just feel like it will take away, even though I know about it, it will take away all the excitement and amazing well, feeling that I'll get from seeing it first time in the show. Well, we don't know. They don't have, they haven't said uh, when it's coming out here, right? No, we just know okay. we got, it's got a fall release. Do you right think now. it could be, well, I, I, never mind, you don't read the manga, so you wouldn't know. I was about to say, do you think like by the time it does come out here, you think they'll show it in the anime? Or? I don't know. Like, I mean, we're in mid fight with you know Kaido and Big Mom now I'm not sure at what point you know this stuff happens in anime but it's a pretty significant um, but right now you're in the middle of a significant thing which could lead to it though. yeah okay eventually yes like it's it, well it, it's not a could it, it is I know okay. for a fact but um it's just I don't know like especially with this news with Oda oh yeah and I almost forgot about that. <laughs> so there, there was an interview. I'm, I'm glad you yeah, segue into something else. There was an interview with Oda Sensei recently, and he mentioned how he, he has a plan for the final arc and how he wants One Piece to end within three years. Now, me personally, I'm on the side of, um, I believe that shit when I see it. <laughs> I think it's gonna take about maybe four, four to five years. That's four at the no five at the at the at the latest, but probably more around the four year range in my opinion. But I wouldn't be surprised if it took him five years just in case, because like it, he he has a lot of loose ends and shit to tie up. Like this this is this, I mean I know I saw, that's another reason why this is also gonna take three years. Then he also mentioned like this is supposed to be like one of the you know, biggest battles in the One Piece verse ever and stuff like that. So it's gonna. It's gonna take time to flesh all this stuff out, but like I said, I believe and I see if he actually finishes this in three years, I'll be hella surprised I, if he if he sticks. I'm not even. I'm not even reading or watching it right now. That sounded like when I saw that that, that did sound like <laughs> something. I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because yeah, it, it is. It's been confirmed that the next arc is the final arc, but as we all know, One Piece arcs are long, not short. So, especially with the final arc being One Piece being the final arc, we know is this arc is not definitely going to be not going to be short by One Piece standards. Probably just by One Piece standards, it might not be short. But um, he he has a lot of loose ends to tie up. Like Oda, I don't know how he's going to do it. 
It's crazy. But I have faith in That's him. That's crazy, though. Okay. We're going to see what happens. That's crazy. You said, like, this next arc is the last arc, but he just basically said that this arc is going to last for three years, and I don't know. Yeah. I don't know of any other series that's like, yeah, this arc lasts for three, like, <laughs> I'm spreading this out amongst three years, except, like, Berserk, but that, but, uh, you know, God rest it's, it's crazy. the creator of Berserk soul. He had, he had, he, yes. you know, he had health issues, so that's different. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm also on the side of I wait, I believe it when I see it. I guess for the one. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I believe when I see that. So hopefully, I don't know. Maybe around the time that ends, these people on social media might force me to start reading the manga just so I don't get spoiled on the ending because I oh, will yeah, when, be living. Y'all, when y'all, y'all, if I, I swear <laughs> to gosh, if I get spoiled on the One Piece ending, y'all are going to see a different ace. When, yeah, no, you have to be careful because when Attack on Titan ended, <laughs> when Attack on Titan, there was so many screen grabs of stuff. Like, I didn't see the ending ending, but I, saw, I know there are things I know about Attack on Titan that I should not know right now. Surprisingly, Attack on Titan, I did not get spoiled on Lucky. I don't know how, but Lucky. I did not get spoiled on I, I ain't getting, for that. I, I don't know. I ain't get spoiled by the exact ending, but I, so there were so many screen dabs of just other stuff. I'm like, man, come on. Like, bruh. Yeah, I mean, that was basically what was happening for Black Clover as well on our timeline. Um, I was like, you know what? I, I mean, can't have I, this. <laughs> I can't have this. I'm finna just, I'm just gonna watch them. I'm just gonna read Black Clover. Y'all not finna do me like this. Like, And he doesn't regret it, people. So read. <laughs> I, I do not regret it. Yes, I'm, I'm slowly turning into a manga reader, slowly but surely. Um, um, <laughs> who knows what my next manga uh, will be? <laughs> you know, beautiful segue, even though this isn't your next manga. Highly consider it. Um, even though we talked about it a little bit before, and we can, I guess I could consider this a little bit of McMillions Corner because it's not like news news. But if you're joining us, uh, currently Chainsaw Man has started its second part and it has returned. And what a triumphant return it has been because uh, the two chapters are out currently, and I think we get another release this week. On if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they come out Tuesday. But if I am, I believe it's either Tuesday or Wednesday. So just be looking out for them. But they have been great so far. Um, really interested to see where this plot line is going. And if you've seen a Japanese schoolgirl with spiral red eyes, that's from Chainsaw Man. And yes, you should check it out because it's great. <laughs> I, we, you know, I can't wait till this anime premieres this fall because you mongeries just been hyping the fuck out of Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. Man. And wow. I, I just gotta, I have to witness this for myself <laughs> now because y'all just been hyping this up as the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> and I just, I just, I just have to, I just gotta see what's it's, going on. <laughs> it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, show. It's a pretty good, it's go. Like I said before, e- even your community is off the chains. Like I. The Chainsaw community, man, community is fucking wild, bro. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm just glad that people have been posted with. Uh, I was scared with the part two coming out and how many fans has got that that they have gotten. Because you know, after an anime trailer comes out, some people that's some people sign to go read it is when the trailer drops mm-hmm. or when they might see. Because right now, most Barnes and Nobles I go to, Chainsaw Man is huge in the manga section, so I know there's a lot more people oh, reading wow. it. And one of my worries was with part two coming out, people were going to start just posting uh, panels of part two or earlier. But luckily, they haven't. And I'm just excited for the for you specifically, Ace, because I get to see you react to all the stuff I for the first time, as well as just it seeing it animated, because that's going to be a whole different experience to me personally. Like I am super excited for this anime. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. And we go, we gonna see what y'all mongery is talking about. We are gonna see if Chainsaw Man actually lives up to the hype. Because I'm tired of here. I'm tired of all the talk. I, <laughs> we, we gonna, I, I trust. We gonna see I trust about. that it's gonna be good, especially with Mappa handling it. That tra- like the little teaser trailer we got. Well, I guess was great. So, well, I guess. Well, let me ask you this. I do. Well, of course, you know, you know, Mappa always does a good job with the animation, of course, but. Mappa has announced a lot of projects. Are you not worried that this could fall? By the way, Chainsaw I, Man's like animation quality could I, fall. Yeah, for, could this like fall now, by the wayside or not be good? It, not be as good as it possibly probably Mappa, could be. Or like, do you have a fear? Mappa that maybe? does take on a lot of projects, and I am worried that eventually they might hit a wall. Um, for Chainsaw Man, I'm not that worried, only because 
there were this the people they have hired behind the Chainsaw Man stuff are a big industry name for like directing, animation style, music, and stuff like that. So I feel like they're, if anything, besides JJK, this is like Mappa's, uh, like this is Mappa's baby. Besides JJK, like I think they, if they <laughs> if they mess this up, I don't think people will forgive them because not only because of how big Chainsaw Man is here. Because however big it is here, it's bigger in Japan. I can guarantee you that. It's even bigger in the yeah in, in Japan. And I don't think yeah. they I don't think they want that 100%. on their head that they were like, oh man, we messed up. <laughs> Chase on there, you know. Like I don't think they want that. So I, yeah. I, I have faith. So you basically, basically I, so basically you got high hopes, hopes that they're taking that, great care of that, the series. I, yeah, I have high hopes that they're taking care of this series. Now, what comes after, I don't know if that's when they'll hit the wall because they like I said, they got a lot. <laughs> They they have a lot of stuff yeah. planned because I know they got Van Land Saga they took up. They're supposed to be doing Hail to Paradise. That's of course, another they, great one. That's another uh-huh. great one. Yeah, and then of course they got um, JJK and they got you know season two of that coming out here. So, is, isn't that coming out in the fall too? It, like no, no, I don't, I don't like, think, I don't think has, like, JJK season play. two is coming out in the fall. I'm pretty sure that's like next year because yeah, that's JJ, next year. okay. I can't remember that was next JJK, year. JJK, even though I think. It's about to move into its final arc if it's not in its already. Uh, they're it's gonna move into its final. Yeah, about the it's, it's uh, I was surprised by that too. It, it hasn't been out for long, but who knows? It might be in a sequel series or something like that. But um, That'd be but it's not from when I I have read a little bit ahead. They're gonna they need some space. Is all I'll say. They do need a bit of space. I think if they want a good like a if they're gonna do a full twenty four episodes, they're gonna need a little bit of space. I think. Well, you know, well, now that you mentioned that, that's also, you know, kind of a another uh, thing that's going on in the community right now. A lot of the new gen mangas are currently, you know, ending and stuff like that. Because, you know, Fire Force ended, Demon Slayer ended. Um, I don't count Attack, I wouldn't count Attack on Titan as new gen, but Attack on Titan ending. Um, Black Clover's coming to his ending. My Hero Academia is supposed to be coming into his final arc here very soon. Like a lot of the new gen mangas are but, coming into their wait, final arcs. What well, see, the that? interesting thing is, I, I, so I don't have a either coming to their final arcs or I have been. Yeah, uh, so I, I, so I, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Uh, I think cons- uh, knowing when you want to end is pretty good because you don't end up with like situations. With, for instance, like uh, I hate to trash on it because I love Bleach, but. Uh, the full bring arc was was probably was not needed. <laughs> it, it felt like it was just kind of there. Like even though that's canon, and a lot of people are like that's filler. It is a canon arc, and it was just kind of there. And even Unfortunately, and even Naruto suffered yes, from is. like storylines that it probably didn't need and stuff like that because it wasn't fully planned out. So I actually prefer when a series is kind of more like planned out, even if it means it's more con- you know it's shorter. Uh, I do think we get better stories from it, though. Like, I don't think we get, like, as many, like, oh, okay. this this kind of was drawn out or, like, this felt kind of off. Like, I think if, if it's more concise and planned, it's better. But it does kind of suck because you don't get as much time with the series as you as would much, like. Yeah. like. I know that, I know that was my... Well, uh, I was going to say, like, for, sorry, for Demon I Sayer, I, even though I like Demon Sayer's ending, I think it did a very good job. I did feel like, man, there's so many more stories you could have told within the world of this. Told. But I understood, but, I, yeah. but it made sense to end it there, and it felt like a good ending. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I know, at least, like, one of my issues that I have with New Gen, at least, is, like, I feel like, the even though, like I said, the stories are good, but I just feel like a lot of them are very fast, you know, compared to, like, some of the you know, older stuff that we've been getting. And or older slash previous stuff, you know, we've been getting like some of the new gens and stuff have, you know, this, like you said, the stories are good, but they're just like, you know, quick contained stories in my opinion. And I just like to say, I don't think we get enough time to fully explore these worlds like, as we could potentially. I, but I do agree with you as well. And it is nice to know when you have an ending. And I and like, and I'm not going to complain. Like, if your ending is good, like, you know, the series is good, you had a good ending, you know, I'm not going to complain about like, yes, would I have one more, of course, but you, you know, you did, if you did the ending yeah, I, justice, then, you know, what can it, where is there? Yeah, I'd rather, um, was it, I, I, someone had like a better saying for it, but like, I'd rather had one, leave it, I, I'd rather have the series leave me wanting more than me end up like being like, I, I don't, you know, I don't mess with it. No more. Like, for instance, uh, 
I guess Boruto may be an example. Like I don't, I didn't care. I don't care for Boruto. It could be great. Like I don't doubt. Like a lot of people say it's like really good, but Naruto didn't leave me wanting more. Nor did it like technically make me go like ah, it should have ended earlier. But like if I if I I'd rather have it leave me wanting more than leave me being like I don't like it anymore or something. Like that. You know, like it's gone on too long. I don't want to say anything bad about yeah. it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'd rather you have will. I'd rather have that series stay good within my mind, and I'd be like, I I don't yeah, know no, what I agree. Shit, I don't know what the fuck going on with this shit. No more. I don't care. <laughs> I, it, it's, it's a lot going on right now with Barto, but when this is not the Barto hate episode, nah, it, it's <laughs> so it's technically it's episode. and I will say I don't hate Barto. No, I don't either. I don't. I will say that I don't either. I just I, I just personally do not care for it. I I. It, it could be amazing, but it for me when Naruto ended, that was that was it for me. Um, no, I, I'm not, and that's the same thing for a lot of other people. Like you know, they got their conclusion on Naruto. Naruto became Hokage, and it was like, hey, that that's my Hokage right there. That's the end of the series. And there's what? <laughs> there's another series? What? No, nah, Naruto <laughs> been in it. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, Oh man, Naruto became Hokage. Had a family to say the day, you know. Had, uh, all all was happy as right. be. But um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is all the news today. I know we went on a small little tinge, but it's okay. You know, we haven't gotten to talk to you guys in a minute, and I haven't got to talk yeah. to you in general in a minute. The else, really. So it, it was it was a nice discussion mm-hmm. on the list, though. Um, is there anything else that you just had on your heart that you did want to mention? before we go um not much other than i hope you guys are enjoying the uh summer season i have unfortunately i've been able to watch as much as i'd like um i've seen the first episode i think of everything that i wanted to just haven't been able to uh i need to catch up though i need to catch up because i'm moving but i hope everybody's been enjoying their summer season so far Okay, well, since we talk about summer anime, I will say, I'm gonna, uh, of course, you know, we already mentioned, you know, what we're going to be watching for the summer anime, but I want to talk about this one particular anime real quick. And so if it's a Netflix anime, I, I didn't know it was a Netflix anime, but Uncle from Another World, episode one, definitely has me interested. <laughs> and if you guys have not yet seen um, episode one yet, but it's on Netflix now, um, they're going to be doing a weekly is it, release um, schedule is for it this Simon series. Is or are they... No, okay. No, it's I just, just it's it. Japanese. I just wanted to know. Voice acting, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's Japanese voice acting. I thought it was going to do Cyber Dub since it was Netflix, but no, it's Japanese yeah. voice acting. Um, I'm pretty sure eventually yeah. they will come out yeah, and go with the English dub for it. Um, but I, I've seen episode one. Episode one definitely got me interested, so I'll be following along with it for the time being until until further notice. So definitely, I, should, I would say go check okay. it out if you I have not yet. Um, I enjoyed episode one, so I'm going to keep watching that okay. piece right now. Um, with all that being said, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, checking in with us on the news. This has been GOC News signing off. Peace, everybody.